Collaborating with other musicians isn't exactly easy in the ongoing dumpster fire that is the year 2020. Luckily, Apple makes it pretty straightforward for GarageBand users to not only share projects virtually with others using the same devices and operating systems, but also across platforms. In this video, I'll show you how to share and open your GarageBand for iOS projects on Mac. Hey, I'm Patrick and welcome to the GarageBand Guide, where we're all about helping you to master GarageBand and improving your music. All right, I'm in GarageBand for iOS on my iPad and this is the project I want to share to my Mac. Here's what to do. First off, tap the folder icon in the top left to go to the My Song screen. Press and hold on the project you want to share and when this menu pops up, tap on Share. In this menu, tapping Song will mix down your project and share it as an audio file, like an MP3 or WAV file, for example. Ringtone, as you might imagine, creates a ringtone from your project. The last option is the one you want. Tap to send the GarageBand project, which contains all your multi track recordings. In the next menu, you have a lot of options for how to send your GarageBand for iOS project file. If you're moving the project to a Mac in the same room as you, AirDrop is obviously the most straightforward option, but you can also send the project as an attachment in iMessage or via Facebook Messenger. You can also use iCloud to send your project file via email. Tap on iCloud in the sidebar, then tap on the GarageBand for iOS folder and hopefully you have better file management habits than I do. Find your project file, long press on it, and tap on Share. And select Project from the menu. In the next menu, tap on Share File in iCloud. In the next menu, tap on Share Options, and you can select whether or not you want anyone with the link you're about to send to access it, or just people you invite. You can also change whether the recipient can make changes to the project file or just view it. Back at this menu, tap on Mail and enter the email address of the person you're sending the project to. And then hit Send. Over on my Mac, I'm in Gmail and here is the email I sent from my iPad. In your email, click on the file and you may be prompted to enter your system password to access. Again, hopefully your file management game is better than mine, but whatever. The file sent is highlighted. Click on the download icon at the top and the project file will begin to download. Now this can take a wee while depending on your internet connection. Once it's downloaded to your Mac, Click on the file and you'll be prompted to create a GarageBand for Mac version of the project. And there is my GarageBand for iOS project loaded up and ready to go in GarageBand for Mac. Bear in mind that any iOS only effects or apps won't be accessible in your GarageBand for Mac project. I'll be showing you how to move projects from Mac to iOS and how to better collaborate over long distances in the coming weeks. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out. If you're new to the world of mobile music making with GarageBand on iPad or iPhone, then give this playlist a click. It's packed full of all the tips and tricks you need to hit the ground running. Take care of yourself. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.